bottles using variables assign a value to each variable these magical bottles hold data first you need to pick a variable name to label the bottle then you assign a value to the bottle using the equal operator so we have the variable and it looks like we're naming it with a string sounds nice what exactly are we doing this variable is named some variable name. It contains the value of string. Okay. This variable is named LOLLOL. It contains the number 42. Okay. So we have string and we have an integer because integers are numbers. Create two more variables and assign values to, values to them. You can name them whatever you want <coughs> and hold any value in them. Use the equal sign to assign a value to a variable. I guess. <laughs> so, so far looking at this, I see that um, this is some variable name. And this is LOL, LOL. Uh, I don't know. We'll just do bottle equals... Bottle one. Nope. We'll put bottle one equals juice. And then I'll do like bottle two equals sauce. <laughs> water. Juice and water. So I guess it's going to name those bottles. Let's, let's see what it does. Yep, so it's bottle one and bottle two are the variables that I created for the bottles. And I just assigned a string to them. Doesn't necessarily mean that there's juice or water in them, but that's what I wanted to do. Um, what would you pick in the bottles and what would you name your variables? Let me know.